it's so much stuff going on, man. Right there. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get started, man. Let me go ahead and get started, man. I want to talk about something. I want to talk about a really, really bad problem um, as affecting you know our community, man. And no one, no one wants to talk about this, man. No one wants to talk about this. No one wants to talk about this, man. Everyone's silent on this, man. No one wants to mention this, man. This issue that's going on in our community, man. We actually have a line that we do at our house. We practice this thing. What is it? I'm Ariel Sky Williams. I'm eight years old, I'm unarmed, and I have nothing that will hurt you. That's just kind of a thing we practice at our house. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Yeah, silence is violence, man. Silence is violence. It is, man. If you're silent against, against this type of stuff, you're being violent, man. You're more violent than police officers. Just running around killing black people, man. <laughs> but this guy's stepping up to the plate, man. He's making sure his daughter... She's lucky to have a father like him, man. This little girl's so lucky to have a guy like him. We actually have a line that we do at our house. We practice this thing. What is it? I'm Ariel Sky Williams. I'm eight years old. I'm unarmed and I have nothing that will hurt. I'm sorry, man. I haven't watched this. I saw this on um Brandon Tatum, man. I, I didn't even watch his episode. I just saw the, the thumbnail. And I was like, man, I got to find that, man. And I found it on cut. I haven't, I, I swear I haven't watched a minute of this, man. This is, salute to my man, Eric S. Ock Nation Hall of Famer coming through once again. Hurt you. That's just kind of a thing we practice at our house. Did he say every day? He puts this girl through this every day? And then sends her out into the world? This little girl's got to have fucking gray hairs. But <laughs> I mean, this little girl got gray hairs, man. He's stressing her out, man. Stop this shit, man. I'm unarmed and I have nothing that will hurt you. That's just kind of a thing we practice at our house. There are great police officers out there. There's also some police officers who are not so good. And my fear is that you run across one of those bad ones. For some. <laughs> Thanks for holding it together, Bob, and not crying, man. Salute to mom for not crying, man. Mom was about to shed some tears, miss. I got to give mom credit, man, for holding it together. Police officers who are not so good. And my fear is that you run across one of those bad ones. For some reason, 
people of color have always been a target by the police. Before they became a policeman? For some reason. <laughs> you know, for some reason. <laughs> For some reason, you know. Can't quite put our finger on it, man. But for some reason, man, you know. For some reason, people of color have always been a target by the police. Before they became a policeman, they were a person. And that person took all their ideas and all their thoughts and all their prejudice into their job. Why, why would a police officer assume that you did something bad? Maybe because of my skin color. <laughs> oh, shit, man. What are these people doing, man? What is this, man? Yo, this is sick. This is sick. Yo, I had no idea, yo. This is sick. Why, why would a police officer assume that you did something bad? Maybe because of my skin color. I remember being put in handcuffs for something that had nothing to do with me. I was literally walking. I remember being put in handcuffs dozens of times with shit that I did. <laughs> and then going in front of the judge and the judge saying no paper or case dismissed. <laughs> Listen, man. This is sick. This is sick. I remember being put in handcuffs for something that had nothing to do with me. I was literally walking in the mall. Cops slammed me on the ground, busted my lip, chipped my. Ain't doing this, man. What's wrong with these people, man? God, man. Yo, I'm not blaming this on the juice crew, man. I'm not blaming this on the juice crew, man. This is some people, man. I see a lot of y'all keep blaming everything on the juice crew. Juice crew does things. Don't get me wrong. Listen, man, some people, some people have agency, man. Now, I give it. We don't talk like this if there was no camera around. Like, if there was no camera around, we wouldn't be talking, these people wouldn't be saying this stuff. But we know that if white people here, if we can, we can, we can manipulate white people with this type of shit. We know we can manipulate white people with this type of shit, man. This guy's nut. This I can't tell who's the craziest, man. Which parent is the craziest, man? I don't know who's crazier. This one. <laughs> I don't know if he which one is crazy, this one or this one. It's like a tie so far between those two. Put in handcuffs for something that had nothing to do with me. I was literally walking in the mall. Cops slammed me on the ground, busted my lip, chipped my tooth. That actually made me really mad. How about the time they pulled? <laughs> All right, let's see her. Made me really mad. How about the time they pulled us over with me in the car and arrested me? And left all of you guys sitting in the car and nobody knew how to drive on the side of the road because the bumper on the car was kind of hanging off. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they they pulled this woman over and left her grandchildren in the car all alone because the bumper was hanging off. Okay. Who believes that? God, though, I might not make it through this whole video. I got too much shit to get to. We won't, I'm only going to do a couple more because I can't do this whole video, man. I, 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 I got shit I got to get to. With me in the car and arrested me and left all of you guys sitting in the car and nobody knew how to drive on the side of the road because 
the bumper on the car was kind of hanging off. No. You know, we live in Piala. There's people that don't even have a bumper on their car. He said, no, you heard, you heard what she said? He said, no, she asked him, did he remember this? He said, no. <laughs> they mad. How about the time they pulled us over with me in the car and arrested me and left all of you guys sitting in the car and nobody knew how to drive on the side of the road because the bumper on the car was kind of hanging off? No. You know, we live in Piala. There's people that don't even have a bumper on their car. My rear brake light wasn't working and I got to my destination and they were working. I was about your age, actually. They grabbed me. Why? I didn't know at the time. They just. <laughs> <laughs> These people are sick, man. These people are sick. What's... <laughs> nah, man. See, T Money is a perfect example. T Money, let me ask you something, man. Let me, let me, I'm gonna help you glide this out, man. T Money, I gotta, it, it matters though. Are you a glider or are you a sun man? I need to know T Money. Are you a glider or are you a sun man? I just wanna know, man. You're not in trouble, man. I just wanna know. Are you a glider or are you a sun man? Are you a glider or a sun man? Because it, it, it matters to what you said. If you're a sun man, it comes from, it comes from a different place, man. If you're a glider, it comes from a different place. I just want to know. Because I want to help gliders out, man. I want to help gliders out, man. I want to I want to help help the glider contingency here, man. Um at, at Oc Nation out a little bit. Um well anyway. If T Money is a glider, right? Stop saying shit like that. Okay, T Money is a glider. Stop saying shit like prove it. Don't even validate this shit. What do you mean prove it? You can't tell when people are lying <laughs> by saying prove it. You're giving them. You can't tell when people are lying. Are you serious? You're you're that dumb that you can't tell when people are lying. That you prove it. Stop saying stupid shit like that to them. Because what happens is you give them you open doors, man, for long ass stupid conversations that don't even that that, that ain't even worth it. I was about your age, actually. They grabbed me. Why? I didn't know at the time. They just grabbed me. They threw me onto the police car. I got tased that time. That time they tased me because they said I wasn't complying. Ariel, are you okay? <laughs> What's wrong, baby? Look at that poor little girl. She looked like my daughter, man. Look at that poor little girl, man. Golly, man. That's so fucking sad, man, that this guy would, would do that, man. Jesus Christ, man. This guy's a this guy's a jerk, man. He's a real piece of crap, man. This guy's a piece of crap, man. <laughs> Told him this one, right? Both of them are, but this guy's a turd, man. <laughs> they just grabbed me. They threw me onto the police car. I got tased that time. That time they tased me because they said I wasn't complying. Ariel, are you okay? What's wrong, baby? No, she she's really crying. That little girl's really crying, man. You tell your daughter somebody did that to you, man, and th th these people keep. She loves her daddy, man. She he told his daughter somebody keep. These people keep doing bad stuff to her daddy. You think she? You think that's not gonna make her sad? These, these kids' tears are real, man. You crazy? These people keep grabbing. Every time her daddy's out in public, her daddy's a, a, a whole fucking, like, not non, he's a non, a non, um, son, man. He's not sunny, man. Dad, 
her dad her dad is um not sunny at all man he 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 cloudy man. <laughs> he cloudy man <laughs> her dad is cloudy man her dad is cloudy man her dad is cloudy with um, a chance of rain <laughs> overcast <laughs> her dad is overcast man with a with a <laughs> And this is happening to him. Oh uh, no, nah, these those tears are genuine, man. No, I don't. I don't uh, those tears are genuine, man. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm alive. All right. <laughs> this guy, man. Yo, CPS, man. Somebody call CPS, man. Take yo. Find the mom. Give her custody, man. No way, this guy. Yo. No way, this guy. Are you serious? Are you, I'm alive. Okay. This is yeah. This is this is just wrong, man. And make sure you hit the PayPal Cash App Super Chat. Support the channel, man. I'm I, listen, man. You, I. This is why Kevin Samuel said, get from round. Kevin Samuel said, get from round them son words, man. Think about what they would do, what they would lie about you on something else. I, I, I need you to hear this, man. Think about something else. There was another situation, how they would lie on you. If if you if you have the capacity to lie like this to your daughter, and we all tell our kids lies, don't get me wrong. You can't tell your kid the truth every fucking time. I get it. Don't get me wrong. Parents lie to their kids to protect them from things. He's not lying to her to protect her from things. He's lying to her to fucking scare her and make her fearful and shit. I could get lying to your kids to protect them from things. Like mommy and daddy really love each other. We're just we're just discussing something. We're just discussing something um, that we really care about. Mommy and daddy aren't mad at each other. We're just having a conversation. <laughs> I get those type of lies, man. He's lying to her to fucking make her fearful. All right. Every day I get to see you. I get to do this, right? <laughs> all right, come on. Let's calm down. Let's finish this, all right? I'm <laughs> sick, man. Yo. Yo, man. Yo. <laughs> you good? <laughs> you make me cry. You have to be careful when you're out there in this world because this world's not going to always be honest or fair to you. I know, Sean, you got a little bit lighter than the rest of them, so it's a possibility you won't get stopped. Sound like you just told them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Every glider who gets stopped for like. I mean, like, I don't, this is why y'all lose elections, man. This is why y'all get, that's why it's going to be a landslide come November. This is why it's going to be a landslide come November. Because you ask them shit like, prove it, show me evidence. The answer to this is, <laughs> that's the only answer you should have to this is, That's the only response, man. Any like trying to like, well, show me the police report or um, are you sure this happened this way or another? That's why you lose elections. Cause you're always like, what city? Cause I, I know in this city, the laws, the, the law dash three, seven, four, five, oh, states that cops can't 
and you're all in this bullshit with this fucking liar and shit. You're all like, you done spun yourself into a fucking web with some fucking liar instead of just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> For when you're out there in this world because this world's not gonna always be honest or fair to you i know sean you got a little bit lighter than the rest of them so it's a possibility you won't get stopped sound like you just pulled them over okay if you're driving cop pulls you over please get out the car comes to the window what would you do yeah because that's what they do they knock on your window jesus christ man License and registration, please, ma'am. Why do you think I pulled you over? I don't know, tell me. When a police officer says something to you, don't, don't, you're black. You can't be looking at them saying, oh, I don't know, why don't you tell me? What? <laughs> <laughs> and listen, Gladys will watch my channel, watch the cops get cussed out, watch the cops get chased out of their woods. <laughs> They'll watch my videos of cops getting chased out of the neighborhood. Cops getting fucking cursed from the root of the tutor. <laughs> I mean, we show videos where cops get cursed from the rooter to the fucking tutor. And the sun man doesn't even <laughs> get detained. He doesn't even get detained. I mean, he just, I mean, they just fuck you, bitch. And the same glider that watches those videos will say, Well, well, if you didn't, you've always did, did something to make him act like that. <laughs> and then she'll be like this. So she'll be like, oh, no, 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 you're, you're racist. And then you're like, oh, I'm not racist. <laughs> I just, and then it's like, <laughs> now you're defending it. <laughs> she done wrapped you up in some bullshit. <laughs> if you wanted to be a dumb glider to try to fucking trying to fucking talk this shit out. <laughs> now you're fucking racist and shit. <laughs> Salute to um, Osa the Healer. He said, bro is effed up for doing that to his daughter. He's inducing trauma, jackass. Yeah, salute Osa, man. That's that's facts, man. <laughs> you done fucking, you done fucking tried to be um smart witty glider. Watch this. Watch this, Kate. I'm gonna unravel her whole pack of lies. So uh Miss <laughs> Miss Sun Woman. <laughs> You say that a black person can't can't ask a cop um what did he get pulled over for? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you're using your privilege. Your privilege unconscious by oh ma'am, I'm not unconsciously biased. I, I have a black friend. You have a black friend. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no, trust me. I mean, I like you people. You people, oh my god. And now you're fucking fired and shit. <laughs> you got fired and shit. But all you could have did is just bust out laughing when she started talking. <laughs> Why do you think I pulled you over? I don't know, tell me. When a police officer says something to you, don't, don't, you're black. You can't be looking at them saying, oh, I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Well, I mean, that right there is giving them to them the license to pull you out of your car and physically harm you because it will be done. Don't get upset, don't get sassy. Why did you pull me over? You don't have, I know how, just, just follow instructions and stay calm. Okay. Do you think just being a police officer and pulling you over, regardless of if you feel you've done something or not, they should get your respect? That's a tricky question. The answer is yes. Yes, if you gotta go to your wallet to get your ID, say, 
can I go reach in my back pocket to get my ID out? You could do what I do and I show them my hand. So when they're walking up, they see I don't have anything in my hand. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, seasoned cops and shit, New York and D.C. are just petrified when they encounter you. <laughs> a, a cop in Philly or D.C. or Baltimore or St. Louis literally makes it through the day sweating bullets every time he sees a woman like this. <laughs> Think about it. How, how do they make it through the day? Every time they even see a woman like this, they're like, they're like <laughs> rolling on the ground and popping up. They're like, <laughs> oh shit! Go reach in my back pocket to get my ID out. You could do what I do, and I show them my hand. So when they're walking up, they see. I don't have anything in my hands. I'm Errol Sky Williams, and I have nothing that will harm, harm you or hurt you. And what's the name? Yikes, man. Take this girl. Listen, man. I I give him weekends. I mean, he can have weekends, but nah, full custody? No, no, no. This girl need no. Nah. Salute the Off Nation Hall of Famer Jim Sefton from across the pond, man. Knock off civil rights warriors trying to too hard to face stories. Yeah, man. Facts. The next place you put your hands when you're driving or on the steering wheel, put your hands out. If at all possible, turn on, your phone on. on. And call someone and put it on speaker. But <laughs> all this shit, I could be, I could imagine it being a cop. Coming up to the window, and this guy's like, "Can I? Can I?" This he shit. I would think he was crazy. I pull him out of search stuff out of the car, man. Fuck you, all you. Um, I'd be like, "Sir, I think I'd be like, um, radio over. I need backup. Uh, we got a guy high off of um mushrooms." Wait a sec. I'm not off mushrooms. No, sir. I know. I've been a cop for five years. I know. When someone's high for hallucinogens, step out of the car. <laughs> you get in more trouble doing all this shit. <laughs> the cop comes to the fucking car. <laughs> you doing all this crazy shit. You <laughs> These people are crazy, man. Salute to Averacito, man. Says that little girl will become a DJ. <laughs> Facts. That little girl. That little girl will come, become a DA and destroy the police department. Yeah. Oh, and public safety along with it. Facts, man. She death facts. That, that little girl will be the DA or the mayor of some city one day. Yikes. But whatever you're doing, I want you to say what you're doing before you do it. You don't write any statements. Well, you have to write a statement. You don't have to write anything. You're a minor. I'm <laughs> I'm responsible for you. No one can tell you anything else. If he tells you to be quiet, be quiet. Do everything that you can to get back to me. I see it uh, weighing on you, and I don't want it to weigh on you. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do want to weigh on her. You're fucking crazy, woman. You're a psychopath. Woman, you're a fucking psychopath. You need your fucking head check. <laughs> this woman needs her fucking head check, man. She's a fucking psychopath. This woman is a fucking psychopath, man. Oh, shit. I don't 
don't know what's wrong with this computer tonight. Yeah, man, this shit is fucking. This shit is fucking crazy, man. These people are nuts, man. Salute to Austin Devil Court, man. He's the third. He says, "Salute, up. Uh, did you hear about the son who put fentanyl in his mom's iced tea and then shot her in D.C.? Sons are hell on the elderly, man. Send that to me, man. Email that to me. I can prove they live to at gmail dot com, man." Um, This woman is wicked. If he tells you to be quiet, be quiet, do everything that you can to get back to me. I see it uh, weighing on you, and I don't want it to weigh on you. I'm just worried about Donovan. I'm worried about him now. Who are you guys talking about? <sighs> he had a little juice, a little fucking glider. Who are you talking about? Salute to Gil B, man, coming through once again, man. Salute to Uni J, man. Oh. Who are you guys talking about? Her, 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 my nephew and her cousin. I don't want him to be shot. I don't want him to go to jail. And tell him to stay away from sun words. <laughs> tell him to stay the fuck away from sun words. And he, he, no, nothing will happen to him. He'll never get shot if he stays away from sun words. Stay the hell away from sun words. You'll be fine. Because I'm not mad at this little girl. She's it's not her fault. This little girl, look at look at what this woman is doing to think about how this woman manipulates her in other instances to get her to do other things she wants her to do. Think about how how this woman manipulates this girl in other scenarios. To get her to do other things. Be quiet, be quiet, do everything that you can to get back to me. I see it uh, weighing on you, and I don't want it to weigh on you. I'm just worried about Donovan. I'm worried about him now. Who are you guys talking about? Her, her, her my nephew <laughs> and her cousin. I don't want him to be shot. I don't want him to go to jail. Um, you guys, if you could say anything to please, what would you say? Learn about people. Learn about their problems. Take That's literally all police officers do every day. Literally. I always say that there's two people that... The, that give the best advice that know the most about human nature. There's two people that know the most about human nature. I always said that it was it was cab drivers and barbers. But you know what? Cops trump all of that. Cops even know more than even cab drivers and barbers. That's all cops do. Responded to this domestic violence. Um, calls, child abuse calls. Traffic stops. Fucking disputes. All types of shit all day. Shootings. Homicides. Stabbings. Fights. Loitering. Trespassing. That's literally all they do, brother, is learn about people, man. <laughs> Um, you guys, if you could say anything to please, what would you say? Learn about people, learn about their problems. Take some diversity training. I mean, it should be like an every, at this point, like a monthly requirement. You know, there's really nothing at this point that they could do that would make me feel any safer with them without them just point blank, clearing them all out and starting all over from scratch. <laughs> See what I'm see what I mean? There's no point arguing, man. 
clear them all out. And you know she's not, you know, when she talking about police, she's talking about gliders, man. Police is cold word for gliders. Just clear them all out and start from scratch. I didn't plan on spending an hour on this video, man. God damn, man. So don't always assume that all of them are bad. Mm -hmm. uh, how the fuck is she supposed to not do that, man? How is she supposed to be around you and then not? Think about the gaslight, man. Think about how she gaslights this little girl in other situations. Like, say this girl wants to go to fucking Howard or something, and this woman graduated from goddamn fucking Bethune Cookman or some shit. <laughs> and she really wanted to go to Bethune Cookman, but this girl wanted to go to Howard. And she wanted her to go to Bethune Cookman like she did. Legacy. This woman would manipulate this girl into going to Bethune Cookman. You know what I'm saying? Well, say this girl wanted to be play basketball and she wanted her to be a cheerleader. She would manipulate her to do what she wanted to do and shit. And she probably been doing that all her life, man, manipulating this little girl, man, gaslighting her and shit. These people are sick. To assume that all of them are bad. Mm -hmm. but, uh, always, but all you see on the news and in newspapers and it keeps happening. It's just in a different way. It's like how people are like, you should forgive so-and-so, but they keep doing it to me. I forget, I forgave them, but they keep doing it to me. It's, it gets harder and harder to forgive them. Wow. That woman is sick. <laughs> Ariel, in the video, you got really... This is reuniting with the kids. The kids are older now, man. The kids have grown up, man. Uh, so the kids, <laughs> I didn't plan on doing this, man. Salute the mad peace, my, my man, mad peace, man. Definitely Oc Nation all pro, man. Coming through, man. What caused you to go unwoke? Man, these motherfuckers, man. Like, like, yo. Yo, man, I ain't even gonna lie, man. YouTube had a big influence on it. Once I started watching YouTube to be publicly awoke. And also, man, just the just being around sun words, man. When you're around sun words like I was, man, sun words are sun words. I'm telling you, I was around sun words. You know, I'm from DC, man. I was around fuck sun words, man. Real live sun words, man. <laughs> I rap sun words. If you from Memphis or New Orleans, man, DC, DC dudes, man, they know all over the planet, man. Around, man, sun words, man. That's what that's what changed it, man. Been around sun words all day, man. But these is the kids, man. <laughs> They're getting older, man. Getting older. Ariel, in the video, you got really emotional. I got tased that time. What's wrong, baby? How did you feel looking at that footage again? I just want to say, when I was eight years old, I did cry. But now I'm mad. Oh, my God. She said when she was eight years old, she did cry, but now she's mad. Oh, shit. We in trouble now. You guys haven't met before, right? No. I'm Rihanna. I'm Ariel. Okay, cool. So you guys are in this video. I'm Ariel Sky Williams. I'm eight years old. I'm unarmed, and I have nothing that will hurt you. That's just kind of a thing we practice at our house. How old is everybody right now? I am 16. I'm 17. I'm 11. Ariel, have people approached you and said anything to you lately? Um, yes. What did uh, they say? They say, you're too little to understand. Your dad, it wasn't smart for that. 
How does that make you feel? They can suck your butt. They can. <laughs> yeah. You can get attacked by the police at any age to mirror. <laughs> And this is what happens, man. They, 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 it's what he, he. This is, this is her three years later, man. Listen to this girl, man. She's a future DA, like you said, future DA, future mayor. Yes. What did they say? They say you're too little to understand. Your dad, it wasn't smart for that. How does that make you feel? They can suck a butt. They can. <laughs> oh yeah. You can get attacked by the police at any age. To Mary Rice was twelve. Michael, what effects have the video had on your life? At my school, there was people, you know, making fun of me, but my closest friends were supporting me. How about the time they pulled us over with me in the car and arrested me and left all of you guys sitting in the car and nobody knew how to drive on the side of the road? I've never talked about, you know, being locked in the car and police taking my grandma out the car before. And it actually gave me some room to talk to people about it. Michael, what was it like re-watching the video? When I saw myself, I cringed a little bit, not gonna lie. Why do you think I pulled you over? I don't know, tell me. When a police officer says something to you, you can't be looking at them saying, oh, I don't know, why don't you tell me? I completely understood what I said was wrong and that you should not talk to a police like that. Don't get upset, don't get sassy. Why did you pull me over? You don't have, I'm no, ha just, just follow instructions and stay calm. Okay. For me, a couple things changed. My mom and I might be at the mall and someone will talk to us and say, oh, I saw the video, I'm so sorry. And then there's like this awkward pause and then you just move on. Do you guys feel like you've seen more white people acknowledging you? Yes. Yeah. How does that make you feel? It's a bit mixed emotions. Yes, it is a little more relieving, but also, if you don't learn from the past, everything is just gonna repeat. They'd be like, we saw your video, we're so sorry. We wish we could change it. We can change it. I'm sorry is the first step, but like we need to bring it up a notch. What do you wish they would say or do? <laughs> okay, so sorry is not enough, Gladys. Sorry for something you didn't do is not enough. It's not enough to apologize for something you didn't do. And in many cases, didn't happen. <laughs> you have to do more, Gladys. <laughs> and here's the funny part, man. I, the majority of y'all are listen, this right here, this channel, this is uh this is this is this is not the world. Off Nation is not the real world. The majority of gliders are listening on <laughs> right there to find out what they can do. So let's, let's hear what, what gliders can do, man. If someone says something racist, rude, you say, hey, that wasn't funny. That was racist. You need to stop. Educate yourself on strategies into being an anti-racist. Learn the, your history. And after you educate yourself, educate others. What do you wish people would do with the video? I want people to take the video and start having conversations with their families. I know, Sean, you got a little bit lighter than the rest of them, so it's a possibility you won't get stopped. Michael, how did you feel about her saying that your cousin might not get messed with the police as much as you? Mm, that's my cousin. We should be treated the same. But I also know that everyone's not treated the same. Like I <laughs> I've learned that over time because I've met a lot of racist people. What have you experienced? Who believes that this kid's met a lot of racist people? Hit one if you believe that this kid has met a, a lot of racist people. This is this is Justin Pearson, man. This is that damn um that damn Tennessee activist with the afro. This is him when he was a kid, man. Who believes that this kid met a lot of racist people, man? Please, he just he just meeting racist people, man. All the time. <laughs> Who believes that, man? Hi, my name's Bill. I'm a racist. Hi, my name's Todd. I'm a racist. Hey, I'm Jill. I'm a racist too. 
He just meeting races everywhere he goes. But I also know that everyone's not true. Like I've learned that over time because I've met a lot of racist people. What have you experienced? It was actually my girlfriend's uncle. There was name calling that I've you know over his girlfriend's uncle. So he's so shocking. The, the the kid that speaks good English and shit and is very composed. <laughs> And very well mannered, man. He dating the glider chick, man. <laughs> it was actually my girlfriend's uncle. There was name calling that I've you know overheard. It wasn't like to me. I've overheard them. There's just this feeling that I can't really explain, but it's just. It just hurts. I see it uh, weighing on you, and I don't want it to weigh on you. I'm just worried about <laughs> her, 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 my nephew and her cousin. How is your cousin right now? He's doing really good right now. He's of darker complexion, and I was really worried for him. Do you still fear for his life? All of my cousins, all of my family, my mother. Let me drop the link, man. Let me drop the link, man. <laughs> Let me drop the link, man. Um, God damn. Shout out to everybody helping me um sell out my race on um by, by watching on Rumble, man. Shoot salute to all you people helping the brother sell out his race, man. Um now, now I don't, I don't watch this, now I gotta get through all this other shit, man. Ah, damn. Um <laughs> what's happening, man? Yeah, man, it was good. <laughs> yeah, I can't, man. Man, this is out of control. We we don't even have. There's not even enough time for these children to become DAs in rural cities. It's gonna be too late by now. I mean, this why is, you say this, that, man? They already doing it now. We don't have till they. What did they got to do? How old are they? Like teenagers, like thirteen. Another 10. 116, 117, 116, and 111. Yeah, I mean, we don't five. What do they need? Another seven, eight years? No, nah, man. <laughs> it's going to be done. The job's going to be done by then. So. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap already, man. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean, but, but you know, I, on a serious note, though, like, nah, what they did to these kids is, like, terrible. Like, that's not. It's so pointless. It's so pointless. It teach it taught them nothing, and now they got hate in their heart. And when when this sister when she turns when she gets to college, she's gonna be in a situation, if not already, where some normal interaction with a police or some form of authority will occur. Or and white she, person. Yeah, or dear right, or just some random white person. She's just gonna over escalate it for no reason, and then ruin her life, ruin some aspect of her life, and then blame white supremacy. This shit is stupid. Hey, hey, I, I apologize, but I don't know who I can't stand more. Them or the or the sun kids that have been terrorizing downtown and the and the lakefront these last couple days. Yeah, man. Um oh man, I heard about that. Uh we're we gonna get to we got I was I wanted to get to a lot more stuff, man, but uh it did this stuff. I, I didn't plan on spending more than like 10 minutes on this, man. But man, I was about to tap out, Chief. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's too much, man. These yeah, it's, I, it's yeah. mind blowing, man. It's a lot, man. Um, salute to um Aster J, man. He says, Wow, fear cops, but not being a baby, baby mamas. Yeah, like these, there's no talk of personal responsibility in any of this, man. 
This is Gosh. this stuff is sad, man. Yeah, let me let me move along, man. I can't, I can't. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it. But anybody got any other thoughts on this, man? Before I move along. Well, what I'm missing is the part where they tell the kids to say, "I can't breathe." <laughs> oh, I mean, that's a, what do you do? What do you do when the police pull you over because you're going five miles an hour over the speed limit? <laughs> well, you you grab for their gun and you say, "I can't breathe." Where's that part? Man? That's in that's in the advanced class. This is the, yeah, just, they just got the intro intro to <laughs> intro to police. This is this well, is and the uh, best likelihood that they're going to get killed. Well, yeah, the, you who have a likelihood they're going to get killed, they're going to get killed by other teens, yeah. other sun teens. Let me um let me let me move along, man. I got I got a lot of stuff I got to get to, but. Safety concerns reignited a day after bullets fly outside a rec center and daycare in Philadelphia's Lawncrest neighborhood. Today, police back at the scene reviewing safety plans as folks in that neighborhood worry they could be next. And Jen, you also talked to me. <coughs> so folks in this neighborhood worry that they could be next. Meanwhile, you got these fucking idiots teaching their kids that shit. Here about where can children go to spend their free time? Exactly, Don. We talked to the mayor and he says recreation centers are a safe place for young people and their families. He says in addition to those new cameras being installed at over a dozen rec centers, security and staffing is being beefed up. It's sad to see, it's sad to say, but... And it's the city that we live in right now. Darius Cuevas lives across the street from the lawn. Darius Cuevas. Well, this is the Sud Brito. <laughs> Hey, you know, I, I just spotted a a, a a radio patrol car outside there. They better be very careful. It's cops over there, man. Yeah, man. I'm at Darius. <laughs> Yo, I wrecks are not safe. Stop it. See, it's sad to say, but in this, this city that we live in right now. Darius Cuevas lives across the street from the Lawncrest Rec Center. His family dropped to the living room floor on Thursday as soon as they heard the gunshots. I do have a four-year-old child myself. I came and take my son across the street. Don't worry. The captain of Philadelphia 2nd District was at the rec center to go over safety plans. A day after police say a gunfight broke out between two groups with at least 27 shots fired, one even flying into a daycare on Rising Sun Avenue. That's why the recreation center is here. After Rising Sun. But now with this going on, you can't even feel safe. We even take it. The city confirms there have been nearly 300 incidents of gun violence at city parks and recreation facilities since. 300 incidents of gun violence. Yeah, uh. that, that, guy, that guy has that guy has it backwards, man. The thing that makes the neighborhood dangerous is the rec center. Yeah, I mean, the, actually, the re, the rec center does pull like this is where they all come. So, so whatever block this rec center is on. All the kids from the neighborhood come here. So if the rec center was on another on the two blocks this way, all the kids would be over there. And you wouldn't have the shootout. That is you true would, to a certain extent. To a certain, you wouldn't have to be duck, You wouldn't have to be ducking, right? Yeah, to, to a certain. No, extent. it's better to concentrate them at the rec center than to rather have them in all the fucking dog parks and everywhere else. There, there, there's, there's some, there's some. That is, that is, that makes sense too. I ain't gonna lie. There's some validity to that too. Do you want them yeah. shooting around the rec center or you want them shooting where everybody's shopping? Yo, as long as they don't build it by where I live, I don't give a fuck. Okay, so when I run for mayor of Philadelphia, here's my idea. So when you build a rec center, every house anywhere around there has to be fortified with Kevlar walls and bulletproof <laughs> glass. And then you could let them all shoot. They could just shoot, you know, be good. No, yeah. you just build a a a, 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 a sand uh, bag a wall around the rec center and let them shoot in there, and it'll hit the sandbags, and nobody'll get hit. 
Yeah, man. I mean, you guys are coming up with some great ideas, man. The city confirms there have been nearly 300 incidents of gun violence at city parks and recreation facilities since 2019. Philadelphia Parks and Recreation says their sites are safe places. A spokesperson says, quote, we know that when teens and young adults are engaged in programs at city parks and rec sites and have access to mentors and caring adults, we can get closer to combating the senseless violence that we have seen across the city over the past few years. Peep this language. We can get closer to combating. They're not saying anything about fixing the problem. They say, if, right. if, gliders, if, if we get all of your fucking tax dollars and all the donations and spend it all on these fucking sun teams, we can get closer to combating the senseless violence. Wow over the past few years. We met Mayor Jim Kenney at a celebration for graduates at a trades institute. I'm really angry about the, their recklessness when it comes to shooting willy-nilly and having a, go, a bullet go through a daycare, a daycare window. Uh, this is the kind of people we're dealing with, and this is the kind of people who should never have access to guns. So you're saying that the recreation centers are places that our young people should turn to to yes. spend their free time, and, and they're safe? Yes. I mean, it's, you know, as safe as you are anywhere else. I can't guarantee anything. In, in this society, it's hard to guarantee anything. So we're going to do our very best. <laughs> On Wednesday, city leaders announced the installation of 100 cameras. That was a nugget of truth if you've ever said one. 14 city rec centers. Lawncrest has a dozen security cameras on site, but it's not on the list to get. That rec center has a dozen security cameras. It doesn't matter. That, I mean, <laughs> they don't care. But just think about a rec center needing a dozen security cameras. Well, the uh, other thing you said is we can make you as safe as you are anywhere else. That mayor that doesn't, is that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, that that be yeah, as safe as in Kensington, you think? You know, it's like Well, Kensington is all white people, so you're pretty safe over there. Dozen security cameras on site, but it's not on the list to get new cameras, at least not right now. The Northeast was a safe place at one, at one point. It's, it's literally becoming North Philadelphia. As part of safety measures, the mayor and Parks and Rec both emphasizing that hours have expanded into the weekends at these rec centers for young people to turn to as places to go as far as Philly police and this investigation for that shooting. It is active and ongoing. We're expecting an update sometime soon. Don. All right, Jennifer Lee, thank you. I wonder if this I wonder if this rec center has control movement. You know, like where one door glides, you buzz in, you go through the next door. Nah, man. <laughs> nah chill. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, man. The sun teens, man. They, no, it just it just sounds like a gun range every fucking Friday afternoon. They ruined everything, man. Now listen. When I when I tell y'all people that sons ruin everything, a lot of people think that. I'm just talking about some things or most things. They ruin everything. A rowdy group of kids and teens are being blamed for shutting down a South Philadelphia fair last weekend. And tonight, the fair is taking action so everyone can enjoy the event safely. Fox 29's Eddie Kadem is live at the fairgrounds at Packer and 7. So, Eddie, what does the head of the fair have to say? What's he planning on doing? Well, Donnie's frustrated. He's been running this fair for around 50 years, and he's never had to put an age restriction like the one you were just mentioning. But these groups, they're coming out, these groups of teenagers, and they're taking over events like this, events like the fair that's been going on for over a week now, and forcing these business owners to make tough decisions. It's the final weekend of the Southeast Youth Athletic Association Fair, and families lined around the block for a chance at some fun. What do you like about it? What's exciting? All the rides. A week ago, Philadelphia police had to shut the fair down because dozens of teenagers got out of hand and caused a panic. A 14-year-old girl was arrested, but thankfully, police say no one was hurt. I would say that even the older kids that were here are not a problem. This is just 13, 14, 15-year-old. Who believes that? Who believes this guy? What, what did he say? One was hurt. I would say that even the older kids that were here are not a problem. This is just 13, 14, 15-year-old kids. That night.
So maybe I believe, I believe, they're, they're, I those, believe. Are the most, those are the most dangerous kids, man, because they got they, they've changed all these laws. They could do anything they want. But this this guy would call me a kid, you know. What I'm saying? So it's like, you know, so his I, he, when he says the word kid, he, he might be talking about people in their thirties and shit. Ten-year-old kids that night prompted owner Jim Houghton to bring in an extra layer of security and a new rule that kids under 18 have to be with a parent or guardian. He says, You can't even go to the fucking state fair without your fucking parents. Who wants to go to the state fair with their parents? Right. Thanks. Thank you, son teens. No, they do that everywhere. So they, they had to do that in um, in Montgomery County because yeah, they was having their big fights at the, uh, the high school high school game so they made it so all the high schools in Montgomery County the students can't go without their parents <laughs> which is the whole allure of like going to the game <laughs> we, ru we ruined everything but listen like I say these things wouldn't be ruined because there would be no state fair there would be no fucking roller coasters and shit you do fucking roller coasters and shit Maybe ring around a rosy or some shit, but we wouldn't build all this shit, so we, it would be nothing to ruin. That's the that's the only difference. We wouldn't we things wouldn't be ruined because we wouldn't build shit. Sales have stayed steady, and the rowdiness has died down. Hey! It worked perfect. We had nothing but families in here. Amir Young is 19, and he says it's a shame that a group of kids had to ruin it for everyone else. Kids these days in Philly, they causing a lot of ruckus. I think it's only right that they set a uh, limit on the uh, age 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 ranges that should be here. The parents we talked. So he's in favor of it, man. <laughs> Sunteen says, man, yeah, man. I don't blame him, man. Let me eat. Even a lot of Sun teams are tired of this shit. Because I, I could imagine you don't want, they're the ones that are getting killed out here by the other Sun teams. It's age game, age yep. ranges that should be here. The parents we talked to say they support the decision and that the added security and rules are a good idea. I feel like that's good. It should be because a lot of the and miners in the city are reckless and they need their parents with them to watch what they're doing. <laughs> And at the core of this fair is helping out young people. It's the biggest fundraiser for the Southeast Youth Athletic Association. But they use this money specifically for keep keep going. You know, and like I said, it's been going on for a lot of years. This is what this is what paid for a lot of things over there. And the fair just wrapped up. We're not uh, hearing that there's been any issues tonight, so that's obviously good news for the fair owner. <laughs> so no issues tonight, man. Um... They're going to have the one at RFK this year, too. Um, <sighs> yeah, let me see. Uh, let's see. Let me see what else is going on. Oh, yeah, I got to get to this. Um, they they just grabbed the two girls in Chicago out for carjacking. They were, like, on a, on a crime spree. Oh, oh yeah. They got it. Yeah, they got they got these a group of girl a group of girls in DC. Same thing. They did like ten in a week. <laughs> that is yeah. crazy, man. Yeah, um, when 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 the girls are doing carjackings, man, that's a yeah. what the boys are doing. Right, <laughs> like yeah. sifting through those court documents. Yeah, I mean, you, Scott Adams said it best. You can't fix this. You cannot fix this. This is what it is. You got to make lemonade out of this shit. <laughs> well, I can tune they said it best. You can't compete. You can't compete. Get your, you can't compete shirts at the Op Nation merch store. <laughs> you cannot yes, compete with that. If girls, and smash on the um, news lady, but if girls nice. are carjacking 90 going north and they fucking filled with estrogen. What are the ones that have testosterone doing? Uh, Lynn has been sifting through those court documents all day. He's joining us live now. So, Da, it sounds like this is really giving us the clearest picture yet of how Bob Lee and his alleged killer were connected, right? Yes, yeah, Sarah, we're definitely getting more information. And the court hearing today actually lasted only just a few minutes. In fact, the arraignment was postponed to April 25th. But you're right, today we'll find out, we found out uh, more about why and how the Bob Lee murder happened.
Investigators believe accused murder Nima Momeni was angry with Bob Lee over Lee's relationship with this woman, Momeni's younger sister. Her name is Karza Momeni. She's married to... Oh, so it wasn't no homo stuff. That's good. Thank God. He, he was man. smashing a married woman. Thank God, man. Yeah, no, no. He, he was banging the guy's sister, yeah. Angry with Bob Lee over Lee's relationship with this woman, Momeni's younger sister. Man. Her name is Karza Momeni. She's married to San Francisco plastic surgeon Dr. Dino Liasnia, seen on the right. It's unclear what kind of relationship Lee and the sister was in, but investigators say they had known each other for years. It appears from witness statements that Mr. Lee is somehow a friend uh, of this woman, and that is what the connection is between the two men. In newly released court papers, investigators say tech executive Bob Lee 